I was learning with the readers every time there was a new book, basically. I was just going, oh, I'm still in it. I read it and I said, what the hell is this? I'm not doing an action movie. <laughs> <laughs> And agents and people said, Alan, you, you don't understand, this doesn't happen. Uh, you've only been in LA two days and you've been asked to do this film. But I suppose ignorance was bliss. I said, why would I be wearing this when I've got all these huge hulks who are going to do all the dirty work? Um, so I was just thinking, you know, if I was wearing a suit and not all of this terrorist gear, then maybe there could be a scene where um, I put on an American accent and he thinks I'm one of the hostages. I kind of got the Joel Silver, get the hell out of here, you'll wear what you're told. <laughs> and then I came back and they handed me the new script. So, you know, it just pays to occasionally use a little bit of theater training when you're <laughs> doing a movie. What do you have for breakfast? Where did he come from? Um, and, uh, you know, I'm gonna look ridiculous in those costumes. I knew I was gonna do Robin Hood and I said, will you have a look at this script? Because it's terrible. <laughs> He said, well, you know, here, you know, here where it says um, uh, you're coming down the corridor, you should have a wench in a doorway, and then you should say, you, my room, 10.30, and then turn to the other wench and say, you, 10.45. <laughs> I'd also given the script to Ruby Wax. You, my room, 10.30, you, 10.45. Immediately, he said, and bring a friend. <laughs> And I knew it had worked because as I cleared the camera, I saw about 80 members of the crew just go. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people thought he's going to direct Jane Austen, but I'd seen it drink man, woman. And you just thought, well, this is an inspired choice, really, because he's visually so wonderful. You kind of had to interpret what Ang was saying. My one was, Alan, be more subtle, do more. <laughs> Then you knew it was do more of the subtle acting. Yeah. And Kate had, uh, never mind, you'll get better. <laughs> when I was asked to do it, there were only three books written. And so, by and large, uh, I was learning with the readers every time there was a new book, basically. I was just going, oh, I'm still in it. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> It was a very changing thing, of course, as it would be over 10 years. Apart from anything else, three leading actors start out at 12 years old and then they're 22. Meanwhile, CGI is growing up along with you. So uh, at the beginning of it all, we used to go off on location. Forget that by the end of it. We were in a pile of old grass around at the back of Leavedon Studios with a big football stadium of lights. <laughs> 